Even though 1982 Donruss baseball cards began life with a few strikes against them, truth is, they have a lot to offer collectors today. To begin with, Donruss made a big leap forward in card quality from 1981 to 1982. Now, that might seem like faint praise given that the 81s were printed on toilet paper and featured photos shot from a periscope on a submarine in Lake Michigan, but still. Second, the card design is pretty baseball-y, again an improvement from 1981. And third, the set was loaded with rookie cards. For years, all three 1982 sets were lively playgrounds for rookie card speculations. And though some guys like Steve Sachs, Gary Gaetti, Mike Witt, and others eventually fell short of superstar status, there are a couple of Hall of Famers in the bunch. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the most valuable 1982 Donruss baseball cards, ranked by PSA 10 prices, reported in the PSA Sports Market Report price guide. 1982 Donruss Cal Ripken Jr. Rookie Card, number 405. It didn't take Ripken long to endear himself to fans and collectors alike. By winning the American League Rookie of the Year Award in 1982, he served notice that he was a force to be reckoned with at shortstop or third base. Young Cal split time between the positions that season before moving to short full-time in 1983. When he won the American League MVP award and helped the Baltimore Orioles win the World Series title. Meanwhile, the pre broom collectors were setting aside Ripken's rookie cards from all of the 1982 base sets, Top Fleer and Donruss. That Tops number was a three player card, of course, and that fall they split off Mr. Rookie of the Year to create the first really important Tops traded card. Cal's Donruss rookie card is no chop liver either, though, and it leads off here at about $200 in perfect graded condition. 1982 Donruss Lee Smith rookie card, number 252. Collectively, we still don't have a very good handle on what makes for a great closer. Mariano Rivera is a no-brainer, of course, and the first player to receive 100% support on the Hall of Famer ballot but fans have always disagreed on most of the other big names at the position, and advanced metrics haven't helped that matter much. Two things are certain, though. First, several relievers became big-name stars in the 1970s and 80s. Think Bruce Sutter, Roly Fingers, Dan Quinsenberry, John Franco, Goose Gossage. And second, Lee Smith was right there with that group in name recognition, and ahead of most in pure intimidation from the bump. At 6'5 and 220 pounds, Smith filled the mound in the late innings for the Cubs through the mid-1980s, and he helped them win their first division title in 1984. He also finished his career with 478 saves, a record at the time that today clearly doesn't mean what it once did. Still, Smith made it to Cooperstown in 2019 after a long wait and his 1982 Donruss rookie card sits at $100 in PSA 10 condition. 1982 Donruss Bronx Bombers, Reggie Jackson and Dave Winfield, 578. The Yankees have virtually always been vilified for attempting to buy championships by signing top-tier free agents or trading cash for stars in the old days. Collectors who weren't fans of those tactics must have hated this 1982 Donruss card, which showcases two of the Bronx Bombers' biggest names from the 1980s, Dave Winfield and Reggie Jackson. That both dudes were signed as free agents and went on to great glory might be a thorn in the side for some, but the collective star power is tough to resist on a swatch of cardboard. Today, PSA 10 copies of this card sells for around $80. 1982 Donruss Kent Herbeck, rookie card, number 557. The 1982 sets were always loaded with promise in terms of rookie cards, which made all three issues popular with collectors when the hobby exploded in the mid-1980s. Herbeck was one of the guys who drove the rookie card market, and he lived up to most of the hype by smashing nearly 300 home runs and helping the Minnesota Twins win two World Series in 1987 and 1991. Today, Herbie's 1982 Donruss is a $55 card in PSA 10. 1982 Donruss, Nolan Ryan, number 419. 
Ryan virtually always appears on lists of the most valuable cards from whichever set he's in, and 1982 Donruss holds serve in that respect. Even though he was 35 entering that season, and even though most people probably thought he was about done, the Ryan Express would push on for another 12 full seasons in the major leagues. Today, perfect copies of Ryan's 82 Donruss bring in about $50. 1982 Donruss, Ricky Henderson, number 113. Henderson had served notice at the age of 21 in 1980 that he might be a different sort of base runner. A hundred stolen bases really pops out of the stat line on the back of a baseball card. And even though the 1981 player strike busted up the season, Henderson still managed 56 wipes in 108 games. Then in 1982, Ricky demolished Lou Brock's single season record for steals when he put up 130. Of course, in subsequent seasons, Henderson would develop into an all-around threat and probably the greatest leadoff hitter of all time. In 1982, though, collectors were pulling this now $50 Donruss card as Ricky ran wild with the Oakland A's. 1982 Donruss, George Brett, number 34. Like Henderson, Brett had done amazing things in 1980. Namely, he hit 390 and won the American League MVP award. And while Brett wasn't able to bounce back from the strike to quite the extent Ricky did, he still came out as a major offensive force who would remain the face of Kansas City Royals for another decade. Brett is still a collector favorite all these years later, and his 1982 Donruss lines up at about $30 in perfect graded condition. 1982 Donruss, Pete Rose, number 168. Love him or hate him. Rose was a dynamo on the field and remains a legendary figure in the game. He was also maybe the first guy to pull his cards into the stratosphere on the back of a run towards an all-time record. In Rose's case, that was an assault on Ty Cobb's career hit marks in 1984 and 1985. Today, Rose's pasteboards retain a lot of hobby love, and his 1982 Donruss is a $20 card and PSA 10. 1982 Donruss, Mike Schmidt, number 294. Schmidt established himself as a monster power hitter and locked down defender at third base during the 1970s. But it wasn't until the Phillies became perennial contenders with the addition of Rose and others late in the decade that Schmidt really started to get his due. That due included National League MVP awards in 1980 and 1981 and another in 1986 and general recognition as one of a handful of the greatest third basemen ever. Today, Schmidt maintains a strong collector following, and this card pushes $20 in perfect slabbed condition. 1982 Donruss, Reggie Jackson, number 538. Reggie became Mr. October by virtue of his postseason heroics with the Yankees in the late 1970s, even though he'd had plenty of playoff success with the A's. In 1982, though, he began the last phase of his career, which started with the move to the California Angels. All that means his 1982 cards were his last Yankee issues, and the Donruss version sells for $15 plus these days in PSA 10. Like our video? Then like our videos and subscribe to our channel, waxpackgods.com.